Kia ora te whanau ko Amber Māori Ahau. Welcome to my quarter around Module 2 of the Kaho program, where we explored e-commerce, systems, strategies and customer avatars. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the delay in this video. I was under the weather last week and struggled to record this in the time period, so Travis and the team talk extensively on creating consistency in delivery, the importance of this in as we grow our businesses and the habits we need to create along the way. One habit I'm building is engaging with you like I am right now, sharing myself authentically with you and building up my internal resilience and fortitude. I'm also learning to be gracious with myself. I am a determined and hardworking wahine who when I have a deadline or objective that I need to meet, historically I would have sacrificed myself even if I was unwell to deliver, which is far from healthy. That's not me anymore, and taking a moment to rest and recuperate is incredibly important, and I needed to do that. However, I will continue to build up my experience in this space and strive to deliver consistently. Now, let's talk, talk around e-commerce systems, strategies, and that very important customer avatar. Travis shared with us the three parts that make up Kaho's e-commerce system, traffic, a web page or a store that converts, and an autoresponder. First off is traffic. This is when potential customers are attracted to our store via social media or advertising. Next, we need a website that converts at least 1.8% of traffic into sales. This is also where we capture our traffic to build an audience. This in turn becomes a list of our potential customers. Finally, an autoresponder is a piece of software that sends out pre-written emails automatically. It also allows for us to follow up with our audience through email marketing campaigns, where we have the ability to make offers and sales to convert our audience into customers. Travis couldn't impress upon us enough that a list of potential customers is incredibly important and it's a valuable asset to have. We learned some key phrases, lifetime value of the customer or LTV is about measuring the ability to repeatedly sell to a customer over time. Average order value or AOV is when we offer something of high value to our customer for a low cost and then offer further products or services to complement and increase the initial purchase. And conversion rate. Your conversion rate is the percentage of visitors to your website um, that complete a desired goal. So a conversion such as filling out a form or making a purchase. This is tallied out of the total number, number of visitors to your website. So a high conversion rate is indicative of successful marketing and web design. It means people want what you're offering and they're easily able to get it. Finally, we, we needed to know who our customers are and what job or problem or need that they wanted to be fixed, resourced, or just satisfied. And this led us into customer avatars. To market a product or service properly, the first thing I needed to get clear on was who my ideal customer was. I needed to know where they're hanging out and understand what their challenges are. A customer avatar, also called an ideal customer, target market, or a buyer persona, is a detailed profile of my ideal customer. So I had to be able to answer several questions to create what I saw as my customer avatar, so that I may know what content to create, what to share, how I should direct my marketing efforts, or where I could improve my presence, such as what social media channels they may be using and get onto them. So I needed to know if they were on TikTok, Insta, Reddit, or LinkedIn. This gives me the opportunity to define and target my marketing so that I may be a lot more efficient about this entire process. Just a bit big. <laughs> There were some fantastic nuggets to glean from in this module and I'm developing three or four different avatars for me to be aware of, focus on and start building content for. Now one thing I have is a request for you. If you're out there and you've done and written an ebook before, please reach out to me. I'm incredibly keen to hear from you and be able to connect in Cordero with someone who has journeyed this path ahead of me. It's a whole new world and I would love to learn from you. Um, yeah, it would be amazing. So. Namahi nui e te whanau, tihei,